Hi everyone, I'm Mark Economo from the Boca Raton Police Services Department. Today we're here to talk about identity theft and joining me is Officer Gren Freiters from the Boca Raton Police Services Department Crime Prevention Unit. And Officer Freiters, um, identity theft seems to be one of the most common crimes going on today out there. Um, actually, yes Mark, that's correct. It is one of the most fastest growing crimes in America today and uh, we get reports on a daily basis from the public um, that is here in Boca that wants to report cases of identity theft or fraud. Identity theft obviously is, is, as we said, on the rise. What are some of the things we can do to prevent us from becoming victims of identity theft? It's fairly easy, actually, to prevent identity theft by keeping your credit cards and debit cards to a minimum in your wallet um, by looking for skimmer devices. Uh, skimming devices are attached to ATMs, to gas pump, credit card readers. Even sometimes at our restaurants, some of the wait staff or other employees are using skimming devices. Um, and what those skimmer devices do is once you scan your credit or debit card into uh, the card reader, it's actually recording your number and your expiration date and they keep that to use at a future time. We actually see it so many times here when we're taking identity theft reports or if we find someone who, who has actually stolen someone's identity. So common, they have someone's name and social security number. Mm -hmm. um, I get nervous a lot of times if you're going to a new doctor's office and they want your social security number. Do you have to give your social security number out if folks ask for it, companies? Um, actually, you're not required to, to do so. And sometimes the medical staff is not supportive of that. Um, but for billing you know, purposes, basically you can give them the last four digits of your social security number and you should be covered. A lot of times they ask for a driver's license number. Having your driver's license number on your medical records gives that billing uh, staff the ability to come after you in collections. They don't necessarily need your social security number to do so. What about some of these services I, I read about online? They have, they have a lot of companies out there now like Identity Guard or, or companies like this where you can go on and they'll alert you if your accounts are tampered with in a certain way. Are they good to look into? You know, it's interesting to bring that up because as a consumer, you almost have to be just as wary and careful mm -hmm. of those types of companies that are claiming to protect your identity. Um, you know, in some cases, you have to be almost more careful of dealing with them than the actions that you would take to protect your own identity. Um, in our opinion, the police, we believe that you can take care of identity theft prevention on your own. However, these companies can provide a valuable resource, but you have to do your homework. Mm -hmm. um, these companies sometimes will call you and alert you if quote unquote fraudulent purchases mm -hmm. are made. Other companies are just simply calling you if someone attempts to take out a loan or credit. So know what you're paying for. Mm -hmm. Be aware that you as a consumer have the right to check your credit report three times a year for free from the credit bureaus. However, you have to do it from www.annualcreditreport.com. There's a, a commercial, we all know the jingle for freecreditreport.com. Mm -hmm. that's, that's actually not free. Okay. They charge money for that service. Um, but you sitting at home on your own computer can check your credit report at annualcreditreport.com for free. There's three credit bureaus, Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. You can check one report every four months so that every few months you're checking to make sure that the names are correct on your credit report, the addresses are correct, and every loan, mortgage, or credit card that you have in your name is correct. You want to be on the lookout for addresses on your credit report that don't belong to you. That can be a sign that somebody has taken credit out in your name and they are sending the bill to another address and presumably not paying that bill and then you are never even aware that it's there. And by doing these checks, it doesn't affect your credit rating either? No, not at all. Um, it actually only affects your credit when you pull your credit score. Mm -hmm. So as long as you're not pulling your credit score and you're just checking the information on the credit report, there's no um, penalty to doing so. One of the other things we were talking about and I found absolutely amazing because I do this all the time is we're constantly getting junk mail. Mm -hmm. And some of the junk mail are credit card companies. You've been pre-approved for this credit yes. card. You've been pre-approved for this. I'm just taking these things and throwing them in the trash without even opening them. I'm not interested, but that's and, wrong. And most people do that. Most what should people, I do with it? Most people take that mail for those pre-approved credit offers and just throw them right in the trash can if they're not interested in that particular card. Um, the public needs to be aware though that mail is stolen, garbage is stolen, and thieves are taking bank records, credit card statements, and those pre-approved credit card offers right out of the mailbox or the trash can, and they are opening the envelope, they are check marking the box that says change my address please, 
putting in a second address and then forging the signature right there on the paper. And then they have a credit card in your name. They have a credit card in your name that they can use to make purchases and you are not even aware that it exists. Officer Freighters, thank you very much for joining us. Um, if you need more information on how to protect yourself from identity theft, you can visit us online at bocapolice.com.